Hello everybody. Our next camera is a Polaroid CU5, or more accurately I should say part of a camera. Um, it was made starting in 1964. This one's from the 60s because it has a metal body. It went on into the 70s and 80s. Um, if you got the five inch extension, it usually came with a 127 millimeter lens. If you got the three inch, it came with a 75 millimeter uh, made by Tominon. Had a fairly uh, simple shutter. Most guesses are that it was a compier. There was no uh, adjustment of the focal length except by adding extensions to this front part. So there are a lot of them like this available. People raid them of the lens and shutter uh, to modify uh, folding Polaroid pack cameras, turn them into kind of a homebrew 180 with manual control. There were a ton of options for these. The different lenses, a bunch of different stands for different focal lengths, a shroud uh, for photographing oscilloscope, oscilloscope displays, uh, in the accessory shoe, there was a 25-inch uh, viewfinder, a ring flash, um, all kinds of specialized work. Electrophoresis, you know, for looking at DNA samples. Dental work, there was one that had a, a bite piece on the front. I'm not sure what you call it. Pretty powerful technical camera. Takes the... Uh, the 100 series pack film, thankfully you can still get the Fuji. This piece you can attach the front piece and then that's closed and you can lock it down. It acts as a dark slide which was handy um, because I turned it into a pinhole camera. I measured from the film plane to this front piece where I have this taped on 95 millimeters. Originally I had a really really tiny hole. Uh, it was 0.1 millimeters. Uh, that was my first mistake was enlarging that. Uh, I ended up using a 0.4 millimeter because I thought F950 was just going to be too dim. Um, but I loaded the 3000 speed Fuji black and white in here that was kind of my second mistake. My thinking was, you know, I won't have to set it up and forget about it. I'll just do a quick uh, shot with this thing and it'll be good. Metering it though outdoors in sunlight, I was getting, you know, 30th of a second, 8th of a second. Um, much too fast to try and, you know, ballpark it. So it ended up being with the 0.4 millimeter and 95 millimeter depth. Uh, F-238, so I had a piece of this black uh, console tape on here thinking, okay, that'll be a little faster. I did get less vibration than clicking this thing down. Um, I didn't get a lot of shots out of it. I did one test um, before this last Sunday, Worldwide Pinhole Photography Day. Took a few shots um, on that day. My first shot... Um, it was so windy, the print was ripped out of my hand. The negative is super, super dark, so it was horribly overexposed anyway. But I got a couple of nice shots, and I'll uh, put a couple at the end of it, and one that I submitted to the Worldwide Pinhole Photography Day website. Um, I had a lot of fun with it, so I may hang on to it. I'll try and find a front or if I've got some old basket case that has a working uh, lens and shutter that are about the right uh, focal length, I'll give it a shot. So there's nothing in here, but I'll see you then.